This episode has been sponsored by Asmini Digital and as such should be considered promotional or advertorial content. My name is Ralph and welcome back to Gloomhaven. I don't know if I'm going to be going to the Iron Drake Armory up the top or the Shadowfield Manor down the bottom. This one's three encounters. This one's only one. This one gives more experience and more gold commensurate to the amount of encounters. Uh, Stone Fortress sits atop the northern edge of the Watcher Mountains. This is the main training camp for the Gloomhaven and Demon's Gate city guards. Although down here, the ancient manor house is hidden through a dense concentration of petrified trees, almost invisible from passers-by. There are rumors of parties throughout the night and strange chanting in the early mornings. Best not to stay too long here. That gives a wand of tremors. This gives two wands of brilliance and an amulet of life. Do I already know what an amulet of life is? Yeah, I do. And I don't necessarily need an extra one at this point in time. I'm going to go down to the shadow fields. Because I don't want to go back up to the, the burnt tavern. Like, I just came from there. But I guess that does give me the ability to get back to a safe town where I know I can actually buy things. I'm going to take this one, though. Hopefully, I don't end up regretting this. Oh, never mind. I think I'm probably going to end up regretting this. Cultist, Living Bones, Living Spirit, Bandit Archer, and Bone Ranger. Whoa, hang on. Before I do anything then, both of my characters have the ability to level up and I have the ability to choose a card for them. Forceful Storm. Targets three at range three. And it disarms them as well. You gain an experience for each enemy targeted. Neat. Uh, looks like it also channels wind. I can also add two attack to all of my melee attacks this round. I really wish I knew what that symbol was. <laughs> what is that symbol? <laughs> this is why I want tooltips. Uh, I did read, by the way, the actual Gloomhaven instructions as well, but I have forgotten what that symbol is. Gloomhaven symbols. I'm just going to casually pull this up in the bottom as I continue. Uh, explosive punch. Destroy one adjacent obstacle. And you deal four damage to all enemies adjacent to that destroyed article. That... That seems useful. It is quite low. It's like it's got, it's quite good movement for 28 as well. Sentient growth. Attack two for range three. Heals all allies in the targeted area as well. That's. You get to move two, heal one to affect all adjacent allies and damage. Yeah, I don't know. If I had like another tank, that would make more sense, but I don't. So I think I'd go with the Explosive Punch. I think this would make a lot more sense if I had more than one ally. So I'll take Explosive Punch there. And then the Scoundrel has the ability to get a Flintlock. That's attack five, range four. That's good. There's also Open Wound. That's really, really low as well. That is in terms of his initiative. Uh, so attack for four, add Wound, and gain one experience whenever the target is adjacent to one of your allies. Gain one experience when the target is adjacent to any of your allies. Gain one experience when it's Oh, so it adds a Wound and you gain an experience if the target is adjacent to a, one of your allies. I don't think it's when, right? Because that would be how many... Like, when does it trigger on a when? Like, does it trigger every frame that they are next to one of my characters? Probably not. Uh, open Wound. So... My understanding is wound is effectively poison plus DOT. So it does damage over time. Um, honestly, the ability to turn around and suddenly use the flintlock to kill like a really, really powerful enemy seems useful for me. Like it seems possibly the most useful here. All right. So now we can go to the Lost Catacombs and probably lose all of our people tragically. I've got a lot of gold, but I have no way to spend any of it. Tired of traversing a tedious route through the dense forest, you contemplate taking a path straight through the maze of branches to shorten your journey time considerably. You notice a slight clearing behind the bushes up ahead that could prove to be a shortcut through some dense forest. I'm going to try it. It would seem that you have not been the first to consider this route. Deep in the brambles, you spot some gear left behind by a previous adventurer. You take it and continue on the forest clearing, pleased with your find. I'm think like, I feel like these are... Uh, also, I'd really like to equip that. Beautiful. I feel like... Those events always give me the same results. I'll also equip a Warhammer on you, I guess. I was assuming they would have, like, randomized results that, like, were drawn out of a deck or something like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, so we don't even, like, sub out a card and sub in a card. We just get an extra card? Right? No, we don't. I... Yeah, I, I didn't even sub in my extra card. Oh, that's really annoying. 
Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. God, a flintlock could be really useful here. Especially just insta take out the cultist. Speaking of insta taking out the cultist, though, maybe I still have the ability to do that. I have the ability to move to and then attack to. And then I can roll a backstab. Do I have anyone else? I have single out as well. So it'd be quick hand, single out. Oh, that's a lot. That's very slow, I think, is what I'm trying to say there. When I say that, it's a lot. Okay. These enemies up here are a problem. I could have just moved up here, bashed this object, and would have killed both of them. Damn it. If I could have backed up ammunition, then massive bolded, I 100% would, but I can't, so I won't. Hmm. Somehow I feel like Avalanche is going to be available later on. I'm going to Rumbling Advance and Avalanche, but I'm going to Avalanche second. Yep. So the enemies get their moves first. Oof. That's some damage. Uh... So my move is moving around you to the other side and then attacking you. I chose two cards for their top halves. So I screwed up. Oh well. I get singled out a lot earlier here than I'd otherwise expected, I guess. Yikes. Oh, no. They also didn't even move. That's awful. That's a burn and available card. Let's get the Venom Shiv out of there. Oftentimes the least useful one that I have. Wow. I, I mishandled this whole turn so awfully. Yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mobilize all enemies jump through. No, they have range. The range is three as well, so they have liberating range. Mm. Crater would be really good here if I paired it with an early action as well. Yeah, it's it's unstable in crater. That's actually a really good turn as well. Uh now I think I just have to backstab you. And then probably Smoke Bomb as well. No, I can't backstab and Smoke Bomb. I'll backstab and then I'll throwing knives, I think. Right? No, I don't even want to throwing knives. I think it's backstab plus basically the furthest movement that I can provide, so a flanking strike? Then I'm just trying to move up and around the side, I guess. Fine. Okay. Backstab to kill it. No! With two... Sh we rolled a negative two on that. That is so annoying. Oh, that is really, really tragic. So that, that target now stays alive for an extra turn. Like, there's very little I can even do about it. I just have to hope they don't really have the ability to do anything this turn, then. That's the AoE damage that kills that target for us. And then I confirm movement through to do it to two more of you. Great. And then I unstable upheaval in order to kill one of you. Oh, both of you actually. Yeah. This could have been such a good turn if we weren't bad earlier. Oh, it's a heal as well. I hate this so much. 
And it's all my fault as well, by the way. Don't, do not get me wrong. I know. Ooh, do I know. It's fine. I can set myself up for a decent next turn anyway. Maybe I just let this enemy follow me into the new room. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just going to get more powerful. Let's heal up a little. Then move to natural spaces. Oh, you can actually hit me. Eh, two damage. Neat. I can deal with that. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't move through an enemy, so I can't even hit this enemy this turn. So I'm going to undo and then confirm both of my readying actions. So we had to kill a lot of enemies in this room, right? It was one, two, three up here, then two down here. So five total. That's not even going to be half of the enemies in this actual total encounter. This could be really rough. I say it could be really rough. This is going to be really rough. Okay, I'll use Dirt Tornado and Massive Boulder. And then here... Ideally, I was going to do loot two and then run away. Loot two and then smoke bomb. Actually, I can still do that, can't I? Get three coins there. That's super neat. I think three coins is worth burning my loot two there, despite the fact that throwing knives goes away. The enemy, like, they can't push through that, can they? Oh, yeah. They're going to have to go around to the other side. Get kited. Move into the next room. So, Massive Boulder has the ability to target two targets if I'm standing in this space. And I also collect some loot by doing so. So, sure. Alright. One took some significant damage there. The other one. A little less significant damage. That's okay. Ooh, zero damage on that what looked to be a headshot as I was digging for loot there. Uh, five damage is a lot of damage. I can burn an available card and I will still have enough actions for the next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna burn rock tunnel there. All right. Nice self-heal for zero. That's only one damage. I'm more than happy to take that. Sweet. Take your hit back. Again, two damage. Totally fine with that. Cool. So we can end that round. Uh, I have nature in this round as well. So no, I actually can't do good stuff. That's fine. Uh, I do target two enemies with a normal attack. So the earthen clod actually can hit both of my enemies here. That basically makes sense as my only turn. Here I think I'm going to short rest, burning, special mixture is fine. And I'm going to try and just get myself into the next room. Yeah, I'm running out of actions to actually complete with the scoundrel though. And I don't want the scoundrel to just die by having no actions. Ooh. This isn't good. I think I may have killed the scoundrel already. I burned so many things here. That's, yeah. That's totally my bad. Burned a Venom Shiv. For some reason, I can't remember why. Burned the special mixture for a better reason. Oh, yikes. Hmm. 
Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So I can actually flanking strike and then quick hands in order to hit the back line of there. It's the only damage that I can actually even deal, though. Yikes. Hopefully this kills. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, okay. We uh, we still might be alive. Yeah, nice hit back at you. Okay. So Earthen Claude can now target you and you. See if I get my kills. Ugh! Failed to do any damage to one of them. Do I actually get to kill the other one? No! Again, failed to do any damage. That is so, so, so bad for us. I'm going to move down one space. I can't burn available cards, otherwise I lose my character here. Alright, that's the end of rat rounds. Scoundrel. Oh, God. Alright, I'm gonna short rest. I have to burn whatever it is. Fine. Scoundrel dies after this turn, by the way. I can't actually even damage this turn either. Oh, no, wait, I can. I can. I just have to use something to... Yeah, Thieves Knack to move and then Flanking Strike to hit. Fine. This has to be a short rest here. An avalanche? Yeah, I'm kind of fine with burning that. Okay. Whoo! Sorry, this is taking a lot of time because it uh, should take a lot of time. We might end up losing. Okay, flanking and thieves knack. I mean, I just have to light both of them anyway, right? It doesn't matter what order I light them in. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, fine. So I have to use this to move down here. That target's already going to die to the rumbling advance, though. That's my concern there. I can't move here and then attack that cultist because I'm using massive boulder on Cragheart. And if Cragheart hits a target, it'll deal damage to everyone in AoE. I desperately wish I could be up here, but I can't afford to get there. My best position is actually probably here. <laughs> Take the gold. Pass the turn. Attack. No one. Scoundrel is now dead as soon as I get back to Scoundrel, by the way. So. That's a concern. Skip my movement here. That target dies. And now I get to target... of you. I do it in that specific order to make sure that the extra AoE damage happens. Alright. Well, one of my units with 12 HP should be okay to take out, well, three of theirs. Gotta remember that there's an extra unit in there. No! No, 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 no! You're not allowed to summon! Burn two discarded guards. There they go. This just lets her soak up another hit for me, effectively. 
Yeah, and then dies. Dirt Tornado can only, uh, currently only hit one of you anyway, so. I feel like I actually am probably going to lose this battle. I don't have enough actions left to actually kill all these enemies. Yeah. I think this is largely my fault as a result of triggering these extra actions. Yeah. As a result of treating these extra actions, I've left myself with so few actions to actually round out a fight. Also, it's worth noting, like, this is my first big combat. And I should have been trying to play a little bit differently as a result of that. Also, now I know it's more dangerous to actually leave cultists alive. They have the ability to resummon enemies. That's tragic. Right, see the damage there. At least we are retaliating to the enemies, but I believe we're about to stop doing that, right? Good damage on those retaliations, though. Ouch. Harsh hit to take. I'm happy to move one space back and then throw out Earthen Clod to immobilize two targets in front of me. I mean, I guess it, like, limits them this turn, surely. Ugh, but I do want to kill the cultist. Oh! One down. Cultist down as well. Okay. During your turn, I'll perform a heal action and then I'll also perform another heal action. Right? Heal myself with a helmet, and I'll heal myself with a minor healing potion as well. Okay. I don't know. With, with retaliation, maybe we still have the ability to do this. I am going to be, like, endlessly surprised, but I'm happy to be surprised. Ooh. Losing massive boulder is rough. Well, I can't lose that and then lose something else more important as well afterwards, so. That cultist down there is a real problem. Just hanging out. Probably going to summon more bones after this as well. How dare you? Might mess around, summon some bones, I don't know. Uh... Damn it. Damn it! Ah! I, was, I set up rumbling crushing so that I could kill that target this turn, as well as loot directly in front of them. This is clearly not gonna work anymore though. So I get that one damage because it penetrates through, but this is gonna be a maximum of like one damage, and then it's zero because of the shield. Yeah, we're dead. Ah! Uh. It feels like I have to have been missing something that you could have done with your money at the locations that you actually get to. Because it feels like I've spent my entire time stacking money and then doing absolutely nothing with it. Maybe you can only shop at certain towns, including Wayward. So maybe that is the point that you go, like, you try and do a relatively long journey and then come all the way back up to Wayward, cash your money in, get better equipment, go from there. Hmm. Um... 
think I'm going to use both of these. Then just heal myself. And muddle in the other direction. Yeah, and then I model up here. Oh god. Again, we only deal one damage. They have uh, armor on each of those two. Damn it. Yeah, so you're just going to keep healing back up. And then eventually you're going to summon more skeletons, right? There's four incoming damage. If I burn any of those cards, I'm already having a really bad time. God, it feels like we were so close to winning as well. Especially as this whole retaliation's been going out. Yeah, so I have to short rest right now. Lose Dirt Tornado, that's actually okay. So I could Rumbling Advance to get to the other side of this character, and then I would be able to Earthen Clod down there. I guess that's the best I can do. Ooh, okay. It's actually a lot better right now. So I get one Skeleton down. But I don't have the damage to kill the rest of these targets at all. Oh, uh, especially if I crit for a zero. That is an anti-crit. Like, negative crit. Critical fail. I think is how it would typically be referred to. Look, I burn two cards and then I die next turn because I only have one card to play. If I burn an available card, I short rest next turn, getting two cards back, and then I die anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn my available card and see what happens, I guess. I suspect it's about to get to my turn and then say, Oh, you can't do anything in a turn, you die. Really? Yeah. Craghart has died due to not having any actions that he can actually play at that point in time. Oh, damn. It actually just pulls me back to the last air. Oh, uh, okay. Phew. I was... I was actually terrified there that we were already going to lose the entire campaign. <laughs> Worried that that was going to be a real, real real bad moment. But yeah, I cannot find a way to spend my money. Uh, okay, we'll take the explosive punch. And this time, we'll actually equip them as well. I know. Weird. Uh, so, Flintlock is not currently added. I'm fine dropping out special mixture in order to get that. And then explosive punch. Earthen Claude, again, is another one that I don't use that often. That said, it's one of my only heals. And heals mid-battle are pretty important. Rock Tunnel's pretty bad, except for the fact that that, uh, that movement can be really good. But that movement can already be supplanted by, like, a Boots of Dashing on a different action. So, like, especially on a Crater. Yeah, I think I'd drop Rock Tunnel and take Explosive Punch here. And then your equipment. Give you a Warhammer. We actually may consider using the Warhammer in the next one as well. <laughs> uh, so the Shadowfield Mana... This is now a run length of three scenarios, all hard. And it gets you two power potions and a resonant crystal. I don't know about that. I think maybe it is time to actually start going back in this other direction. This gives us an amulet of life and a boots of striding. I don't want another amulet of life. I already have one. And it has way better, uh, way better durability than that one. So yeah. This is going to be a really, like, easy journey, but part of why I'm going back up here is because I do want to go to Wayward and then see if I actually have the ability to spend some of my money there or if, like, money is an event that occurs... What? Oh, I can't just straight up leave, right? That would be weird. Yeah, cause the burn. Me. I, I, but I need to find where I can, you know, use the money. I need... I'd, I'd hate to have a resource that I'm getting no benefit out of that could be helping me. Okay, so this is an obvious blow up that crate there. So, unstable upheaval and explosive punch. Move two spaces, explosive punch on that, and then destroy it. Uh, and then this is get as far as over there as you can, and then backstab. So, Oh, 
Oh, come on! Crit fail you. You. That's so mean. Eh? One down? Oh, the other one wasn't a... Whatever, I'm fine with it still. <laughs> I could have sworn they were both adjacent. Oh. Bugger off. Six. Ugh. Yeah, this, this whole thing has just been tragic for us so far. All right, I'm gonna use Flintlock now as well. Okay. I'm gonna rumble advance and crushing grasp just so that I'm not overusing movement. Kill him. You suck so much. Crit fail and then can't even kill that target. That's really annoying because now I have to actually throw the extra action at- You crit! Scoundrel, stop it. Stop it. You keep critting and failing to do any damage. I'm wasting so many actions here doing nothing. Oh, the fact that you can crit roll to just do no damage is a little bit frustrating, I'll admit. That said, like, I understand that is effectively missing, right? But... I've been getting real unlucky with it recently. <laughs> Let's say that at least. Okay. I'm just gonna Venom Shiv single out, attack the enemy directly in front of me, try and move on. Um. I do actually want backup ammunition. I'm gonna use Avalanche just to move forward. Okay, no damage dealt, thank you. Oh, are you going to do it again? You... I hate you so much. Oh, come! The enemy healed. I rolled negative one on my damage against them, so they're still alive. Hell yeah, if you were worrying at all that they weren't going to live. I didn't want to waste one of my extra damage strikes from single out against that target, but now I have to. This sucks so much. Ugh. Awful. Scoundrel has wasted so many turns here just standing, just trying to hit this target. Hoping it'll happen eventually. So here I get to kill you. Finally! Oh my god. Then I'm gonna turn myself invisible. I don't care about loot anymore. I had a whole plan for all of that loot. No, not anymore. No, not, not interested. Uh, I should have gone for advantage on my entire attack action or a stun or... I keep forgetting that I have all of this extra equipment. Definitely going to move into the new room. And unfortunately, I only have one valid target for Massive Boulder here. Damn. Crit. Damn. It it, it did one extra damage. That's neat. But it was you know, hardly a crit. Oh, God. Do you have to summon? Do you have to, though? 
Yeah, that one's way too far away to do anything. All right, we'll end the rounds. Use Earthen Clod Crater just so I can move across and then attack each of you. Smoke Bomb and Single Out is again a lot here. Happy to lose Thieves Nectar. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think I need the boots of dashing on the scoundrel, actually. Like, my movement is so lacking after we use backstab. It's fine. I'm just gonna pop out and kill these two targets immediately. Hopefully this makes up for how little damage we managed to do over the course of the rest of the dungeon. Mm. Mr. Skeletal just buffed itself. Yeah, not a huge fan of the fact that I damaged my ally there, but it had to happen. Okay. Just so that I can actually salvage this turn and still deal some damage. I'm also really happy to hit each of these targets because the immobilizing on that skeleton is going to be super handy. Excuse me? Uh, I'm pretty sure that whole... Th the thing was saying that I was going to be using Immobilize on the targets? Pretty sure it was saying that. Oh. Constantly getting extra bones. Hate it. Let's do a short rest here. Ugh, I don't want to lose Massive Boulder though. That's actually really important. Yeah, I'll burn Earthen Club. That's fine. Yeah, Rumbling Advance, Massive Boulder is really important there. And then Venom Shiv as well as Quick Hands. Move five and then move two and then attack. One, two, three, four. Ah, sure. Those could actually still be a kill. So the movement goes first. I'll move myself up in here. And the Massive Boulder against each of the healthy targets. That will also kill the other one. Hey, neat. I'm doing a whole lot of leaving people on one HP here. <laughs> I'm not super keen about it. However, taking zero damage on that attack? Mm, a little bit coony about that. God, it would be so good if we had retaliate right now. Run that movement up in this direction. Now it's time to skip the rest of the movement and then skip the rest of that movement as well. Go for the attack. Neat. Well, unstable upheaval right now, of course. Ooh, or avalanche. Oh. Crushing Grasp Avalanche so I can kill those two and then loot after them. Yeah, that makes sense. And then this is a short rest. Don't want to burn that. Damn it! That's the other one that I desperately didn't want to burn. Uh. My loot. My loot. My loot. My loot. It's 
absolutely on fire. It's burned up. There's no way that we can possibly even collect it. Yeah, so I think I just move forward effectively. Move one space. Hey, skip the rest of my movement. Confirm that attack against nothing. <clears throat> End the turn to get 10 goals. Happily murder both of these. Please die. Thank you. And even round out with the loot, picking up three gold there. Neat. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been significantly worse, frankly. End that round. Gets us out of there, as well as back to the burn tavern. After which I'm going to go to Wayward and see if we actually... Uh, into the village. So we get four gold, six experience. Hey, another Boots of Striding. Neat. Items have lost to durability. That's fine. There's a Boots of Striding there. Oh, hang on. Never mind. There's a Wandering Merchant in here. I actually do have the ability to use some money. Okay, okay, okay. Not only that, but I can now understand what some of the new equipment is. That said, we are at the duration of an episode. So, in the next episode, we're going to explore this merchant and pick our next quest. Until then, my name is Renatsity. The name of the game has been Gloomhaven. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourself. So, there's a playlist in the description down, down, in the description down below, rather, with all of my content on the game, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.